All right, so check this out, bro. In today's video, we're going to be playing the mystery of Bleakwater Feature Island, bro. It say after a camping trip, you return to your hometown of Bleakwater, and you quickly realize that the town has been completely abandoned. So what the hell happened to all these people? I don't know, bro. It's going to be a mystery, bro. It says it's going to be medium, but you know every time somebody says some shit going to be medium, that shit be hard as hell. And when this is going to be easy, that shit still be hard as hell. So stay tuned for the video. If you do like the video, just give it a like, subscribe. You know I'm coming to you with Mo fucking content bro let's get into the mystery of bleak water by sub cloning all right so here we go bro the mystery of bleak water on um, feature island bro this shit dark as hell bro i ain't, they say on um, you're waking at a camp site feeling groggy bro how the fuck i don't know how i'm um, feeling groggy is but um it say it has been a few months alone in the forest and more since you last visited you enjoy the quiet but it's time to return home okay so yeah i'm trying to return home because i ain't trying to be in this dark ass forest bro you got me fucked up uh they say bleak water was your home as a child you were told it was um an old mining town rumored to be built on the ruins of ancient civilization so damn that's some deep shit so bro that's a crazy ass town that shit was actually built on um the ruins of ancient civilization like that's some that's a crazy ass town so and also this shit is spooky as fuck like what the fuck they say um you never believe the stories though Okay, so what stories y'all talking about? Um, after some time, factories popped up, uh, and the town seemed to um prosper before the mines were eventually shut down all those years ago. Okay, so what? No one knows why exactly. Some say it was um the fumes. Others say mines resources. I guess drilled up. Recently, the town voted to reopen the mine, but you thought it was always too dangerous. Okay, so um, where they going with this shit? Let's see. On um, the cart contains on uh, an unknown artifact. Okay, so I'm guessing that's the ancient artifact they talking about. Cause this shit actually built on top of a um, ancient artifact. Uh, and they say you feel uh, inexplicably drowned to the mind. Depths as the voices were calling you. Something is blocking you for now. Okay, so his voice is calling me inside his fucking mind. Bro, that's obviously some fucking ghost. So I'm not finna like try to go up in, in that shit and get fucking ate by some shit in there. But um yo we can't even go in that way because it's actually blocked. So yeah we can't even we can't even much go inside the mind. So let's go around and shit and let's see what happens. It's a lot of fucking reading but it's a real fucking story low key bro. It's a, a time where the forest was disquiet, not even scurry the animals can be heard. Okay so this shit is really fucking dead bro at least you gonna uh, get to save her some more time alone okay so why the fuck would i still want to be alone inside a creepy ass forest with nobody in here like in fucking on built on top of an ancient civilization like come on now um you are not thrilled to um to be back bleak water has always um felt uncomfortable to you so yeah it was always some strange shit going on in here bro over this uh ancient civilization shit so um you left you left the first chance you get and never look back okay so you know I'm looking back because I ain't trying to get ate by nothing. But um, you struggled at first, but it was better than being in bleak water, bro. Like, bro, this is a lot of fucking reading, bro. This is a real fucking children's book right here. Um, you approach the, um, the overlook to see fog has blanketed the entire landscape. Bleak water is not too far up the road from here. Okay, so the way this shit is set up, bro, this shit really do look like a real fucking Fortnite story mode type. Like, how the hell do you even get the... um? The lighting to look like this like this shit is crazy as hell but let's jump right into it it's a um you used to enjoy fishing here though you were very good at it okay so memories they trying to bring back memories and shit creepy ass teddy bear like this teddy bear all, always around on fortnite i don't even know why that shit is even um inside fortnite but uh let's continue down this road um it say a wreck blocked the road on um, there must be another way into town okay so all right, so you know what? We just gonna jump inside the water. Hopefully, I don't get fucked up by no type of um, creatures in this shit. Cause this shit looks spooky as hell. And we just gonna fucking, we gonna try to find our way into the town, bro. Let's see. Let's just see what's over here. Okay, so, um, why does it have to be, um, in the sewers? It smells like, well, sewage. You have no idea where to go. Okay, so obviously, I had no fucking deal where to go. So, and it's a lot of paths, bro. Like, bro. I hate having a decision to make, like, which way to go, but, like, I hate doing that shit. So, you know what? I'm going to just go. Okay, I can't even go straight, so I'm not going to go straight. Let me go, let's go. let go to the left. Okay, I can't go to the left. You know what? We got to go to the right because all, um, all the other ways is, like, fucked up. So, bro, come on now. I'm stuck inside a fucking sewer. All these little ways to go. 
this hopefully this the um this right way. Okay, so it say you crawl through the the um the layers of filth uh itch by inch. Okay, so it say inch by inch. Well, fucking, I'm inching, I'm itching inside this um nasty ass sewer. So I'm trying to get the fuck out of here, bro. Okay, so it say until your path is blocked. Okay, um, can I go back? Do not turn back now. Okay, so I'm guessing I still gotta go this way. Let's go this way. Let's see what happens. Nah, this shit is actually blocked too. Oh my fucking god! Like, come on, can I go straight? Nah, I can't even much go straight, bro. So you know what? I'm I'm gonna turn back, bro. I'm turning back. They say no turning back. I'm finna turn my ass around because it ain't, it ain't no way to go over there. All right, so it was a little opening in the ground, bro. I knew it had to be some type of opening in that shit. I, I was literally walking around this shit the whole entire game till I came to the corner. I just looked down and I fell straight to the shit. So. Uh, it says drop it into the passage. You spot a light at the end. Okay, so, hmm, what fucking light? I don't see no light. I see straight darkness at the end. Okay, this this must be the light right here, bro. It say the tunnel. Let's read this shit. It say finally you reach the exit. On um, cover, on um, fully in vows law, whatever that shit is. Like, I know some nasty shit though. <laughs> it say you see strange totem on um, that little symbol to the artifact outside the mine. It probably came from the same place. You walk up and touch it. Okay, so. Why the fuck I gotta touch this shit for? <laughs> bro, I didn't even touch it, bro. I literally just hit that shit. And they say, on um, just like that, the totem vanishes into thin air. Okay, so what is it? Bro, this is a... Oh, this is a checkpoint. Okay, so... They got a little flash drive looking checkpoint. That's cool as hell. Well, at least I think that's a checkpoint. I hope it's a checkpoint because, bro, I do not want to fucking go back. And I got one HP. So, um, it say confused, you press forward. Okay, so let me just press forward. Your journey continues into the factories. Okay, so we getting inside the spooky ass fucking factories. Um, let's see what it say. You try to decide if you should continue exploring the factories or go into town. Um, you know what? I'm gonna can you? I'm I'm gonna continue to explore the factories. I just want to see what the hell um is going on in these factories. Like, what's so spooky about these factories, bro? I'm just gonna keep continue exploring. Let's see what happens. Let's check over here. Let's see if it's some hidden shit over here that we need to know about. Let's see. Okay, so um, it's a dead end. Maybe you should try um the loading dock. Okay, let's let's slide to the loading dock. Let's see what's happening over there. Okay, so it say um there must be an entrance on here by the trucks. Okay, so can I jump on top? Oh yeah, right here. Is it right here? No, nah, I can't even much fit in that shit. What the fuck? Under? Okay, yeah, it's under. Wait, is it under? Oh, yeah, it is under. I thought I was fucking stuck for a second. It said don't leave. Oh, okay, so don't leave. So I'm guessing I got to try to find, figure out how the hell I jump on top of these crates and get over this shit. All right, so I actually got to climb under. The, oh, okay, so I got another set point. So I ain't even have to jump on top of those crates. What's inside here? Nothing. Okay, it's no future coins inside this island yet Um, that I know of because I didn't find that one yet, so... I'm pretty sure I don't got to worry about that shit. Like, I'm glad I don't got to worry about future coins. Okay, so it say you walk into the room and see large stacks of bosses. Okay. Hey, bro, this shit right here reminds me of that game, bro. It's called fucking Little Nightmares, bro. Leave it down in the comments if you play that shit. That shit is cool as hell. And this shit, like, bro, this scene right here, this scenario right here, I don't know why, but this shit actually reminds me of Little Nightmares, bro. That shit, that game is cool as hell, bro. It did the fault too. So, um, let's see where we got to go. Check the boxes. Okay, so they tell us to check the boxes. Well, what's inside the box? Do I gotta hit them? All right, so I actually found some shit. It say um check the boxes. So what you wanna do, bro? Oh, uh, you see this message right here? It say um you walk into a room full of um uh, you see large sets of boxes. What you wanna do, bro? You wanna jump on top of this box right here? Oh, yeah, hold up. Let me see if I can get out there. Okay, so yeah, you wanna jump on top of this box and then jump on top of here. And then jump on top of here, bro. And then actually look down. It's, it's it's actually like a couple tires right here. You bounce on top of these. And then bam, bro. You up here, bro. So I found that little way out, bro. It took me a little minute. But it wasn't even that hard to find. Like, it's so obvious, bro. And obviously, it's a fucking creepy-ass teddy bear sitting inside the corner. So I guess we got to use this on this bounce pad to, um you know, get up to the exit that it was telling us about. So it said you grab a familiar device. Oh, yeah, of course I know what that shit is. Okay, I play fucking Battle Royale. I know exactly what the fuck that is. So let's go on take this shit back to the little spot where they say that's our exit. And let's see what the hell is um ahead of us. All 
All right, so we got to place it right here. I'm pretty sure. Let's bounce. Yep, it's a door right here. That's our exit. What's in here? And we got a checkpoint. Okay, say, um, the roof. Maybe you can jump somewhere. The hint. Respawn if you miss a jump. Try again. Okay, so, um, I actually found a way to go, bro. You got to jump on top of this shit right here. Uh, on top of the trash can, but I'm trying to figure out, like, did I really actually have to go through all that shit just to jump on top of this, bro? Like, come on, I could jump on top of this shit when I first came into the um, factory. Like, that's crazy as hell, but yeah, you gotta jump on top of these um these boxes right here. Let's see where it takes us. Okay, so it's a door right here. Let's see. Can we go through it? Okay, so we can go through it. Alright, so, um, oh, it's another door right here. Let's Let's open it. Okay, so it say um sometimes the path is not that obvious. Mm, what y'all mean by that not that obvious? So it means that that shit really got, that shit actually got to be right in my face. So let's try to find this path. All right, so I actually found a path quick as fuck. Like that was so easy, bro. All I gotta do is jump on top of this crate right here. You cross down, you look down, and bam, you right in that shit, bro. That shit was so easy, bro. It said you drop into the factory floor, bro. Look at all these creepy teddy bears. Like, what the fuck is this on um, bitter bear on um, factory or some shit? Cause it's straight teddy bears all through this motherfucker, bro. Like, that's crazy as hell and creepy as fuck. Like, uh, it say the factory. Um, wait, the factory's conveyor belt uh, is severely rusted. Teddy bears on um, lay undisturbed. Oh, that's creepy as fuck. Like. If I come into bro, if I come into a fucking factory and I see straight teddy bears just land on a conveyor belt, not even moving, they like dusty as hell, like they've been there forever. I'm running the fuck out of there, bro. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, they say the last time you passed, it was bustling, but there is not a trace that of anyone. Okay, so it wasn't nobody in this bitch. So who the fuck was operating these um these little teddy bear maker machine conveyor belts? It, it wasn't nobody in this shit. Okay, so um, it say the store the storeroom is lined with fuzzy friends ready to be taken home. Okay, so these niggas is not finna be taken home, but these niggas creepy as hell. These niggas need to be inside a fucking Chucky movie, because, like, who the hell wanted these teddy bears, bro? What the fuck? What's this shit right here? What's this? Oh, do I gotta... Do I gotta destroy... Oh, I had to destroy that? What the fuck? Like, I thought it was some shit you pick up, but you actually had to destroy that shit to come down to these roofs. Okay, so we got two doors, bro. And they both look creepy as hell, like little nightmares, bro. Like, this shit looks crazy, like little nightmares, bro. You know, I'm gonna go inside this one right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the lighting in this shit is like crazy fucking raw, bro. Alright, so, is there anything in here? I see a toilet with shit in it. I see a. Is that a teddy bro? It's not a teddy bear on it. It can't be a teddy bear on the toilet. No fucking way. See, these niggas got brains, bro. I swear to God, these niggas got brains. Okay, so. It's a bunch of teddy bears on the toilet taking shits. Like, how the fuck? And these niggas made it's supposed to be made out of um stuffing. Let's see what's inside these. Okay, so. All right, so it ain't really nothing inside those um those stalls. It's actually a little opening right here. I was looking inside the stalls. Like I was doing the right thing the first time, but I don't know what the hell I was thinking. You gotta jump on top of the door. Let's see. Okay, you gotta crouch, and then you actually gotta crawl over here to this stall. And just drop down like how did i not see that opening the first time look through all those stalls like i don't fucking know but i actually missed that shit so let's see what happens all right so we got a checkpoint yeah i know how i feel about them checkpoints they say uh, a shipment container blocks the cack wall okay so is, is it this on uh, shipment container all right so let's see can i go around right here let's see let me go in here okay so oh bro Wait, wait, was that supposed to... Hold up. Was that supposed to blow that shit up? I don't know, bro. It still got some health on that shit, so... Let's look up here. Let's see. I mean, that shit still got some health on it, so I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be, like, another one over here to open that gate for, um... To open that little container up, because it still got health on it. Oh, yeah, it's one right here. Of course. Nah, did it. Bro, that had to break it. Oh, let's go upstairs. It's probably another one, because it still got some health on it. So I'm pretty sure it's, like, another one up here. All right, so yeah, it is another one up here. If you go all the way up and then you go around, you'll see another one right here. Let's, let's break it. But did it go? Did it break? Okay, so yeah, it did break. It didn't break the um the metal, but that shit um obviously moves the um it moved the the uh, ship container. So I'm pretty sure that we can go straight through that shit now that um we broke the, we we exploded the um ship container. 
All right, so yeah, the shipping container that got exploded. You just gotta build those little things. It's pretty easy. Like it's so easy to find, bro. It's a uh, explosive open the way. Okay, so I didn't even read that from the other side, but fuck it. Uh, across the catwalk, you into the last factory um building. All right, so two doors, two doors, one cup. You know what? I'm just gonna take the right, the right door. Wait, let's see. Say something down here, cause they be trying to check you with these little passages with these little keys. So. Oh, of course, bro. Like, it's a little door in here, bro. Oh, my fucking, like, bro. I didn't even go up the stairs yet, bro. I just went through this little, this little, this little hole right here. Because I kind of feel like they was going to try to trick me with the passageway. I don't know if that's the way, but it's actually a door on the hill. And I just opened it. So, let's just go through here. Fuck it. Uh, it says, the door slams open and you um, wander into the office. You feel the end draw one step closer. Okay, so, bro, I didn't even go up those stairs, bro. That's, bro, that shit literally shocked me. That I actually found an entrance way that quick without like running around looking for that shit. All right, so it say on um, one step closer to the end. Wait, let's see. So I found this little thing over here, bro. The way to go, it's on this little picture right here. It's like a little, little fucking drone, little spider looking thingy. Let's hit this shit. Let's see what happens. I hit it one time already. Okay, so that is the way to go. We didn't have to go upstairs. None of those entrance ways, bro. We just had to go down here, hit the little bug, whatever that shit is on the picture, and then it explodes. Like, bro, that shit was kind of hard to find, but um, I was like a hard as hell. You know, I got them eagle eyes, and I actually found that shit. So. Uh, it say you search the computer for answers. So you discover the toy factory was going out of business and a desperate attempt to salvage the factory. The mine was reopened. It's like right on top of what we blew up. I, bro, I didn't even notice, bro. Like it was an interest right over here. It say, um, at last another totem found. No time for breaks now. Let's see. Okay, so that shit, it say, oh, okay, so it's gone. Of course that shit gone. That shit literally just is fucking exploded. So, and it's a big ass maze right here. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to go through that maze. And this shit finna get tough as hell. So let's jump down. Um, I'm guessing we finished with the fucking factory now. Okay, so we got a checkpoint sort of. Yeah, we finished with the factory. It said the old hedge maze used to um, love to play this as a child. So, okay, so if I used to play this shit as a child, I mean, this shit should be easy as hell. Because, like, uh, a child's not going to get stuck. Uh, inside a, uh, a maze if it's if it's real easy but we see another little totem in there let's see if i can go in there wait it's a message right here can i read it no nah, i can't even read it so i gotta try to find a way to go inside um this little this little shit right here to get this totem all right so you know what we're gonna go straight through this maze bro i found a little way you just come in you make a left you go through here and then you make a right it's a message right here i ain't read it oh uh, it say lost for hours with only you and the hedges Okay, so as I, as a child, I was actually lost in this shit for hours, so how the hell did I actually like to play in this shit if I actually get lost in this shit? Like, what the fuck? Uh, it say it was your own personal vacation away from everyone. Okay, so I'm starting to think that this um this girl or whoever the, per the, um, the person they're talking about, they like to be alone. Like, they don't like to be around people at all, so that's what I'm kind of feel like. They, they just like to be alone. Like, everything they talking about in this shit, it's like it's about um, being alone and about being quiet and shit, so. All right, so I'm just running around. I found another message, bro. This shit is dark as hell. Like, bro, I'm just running, busting corners. I don't even know where I'm going. It say, um, and eventually you, you will find something interesting. Okay, so I'm still going. These lights is not even helping. I don't know why I did that. Was I supposed to jump on that? I just hit it. Okay, so that was a mean ass explosive. So uh, let's just go back and let's see what the hell just blew up. Because I knew it was something that, was, that, that I was supposed to blow up. So let's just go back. All right, so yeah, we actually all um, blew up a new path, bro. It say the explosive must have opened a new path. Yep. So we were supposed to um, we were supposed to hit that little explosive, but we still gotta go inside this maze. Uh, it say living in the in bleak water felt as if eyes were constantly watching you. Okay, so that shit is creepy as hell, bro. Eyes constantly watching you and this shit. So why the hell would I be inside this maze? I mean, why would I, why the hell would I even stay in bleak water if eyes constantly watching me, bro? Like, come on now. It say the town was too small. Growing up there was um was wait was no one your age. I, I couldn't really see that shit because I was too close. Okay, so. Is that another explosive? Or am I just hitting trees? What the hell? Alright, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why the hell that explosive wasn't even breaking. Like, bro, I don't even know where I'm going. Like, I'm literally just running through this shit. I can't even find it, bro. Like... It's so dark, I, bro, I literally don't even know where I'm going. So let's just run back. I know I opened another passageway. 
So let's see. All right, so yeah, we did open another pass away. Say so living here was um uneventful and dull. Like this was a depressing ass place. Like I would not stay in this shit at all. That shit was uneventful and dull. That mean ain't shit going on here. And it ain't nobody here. Why the hell I would even stay in this shit? Okay, so um, is it another door? You spent most of your childhood trying to kill time, bro. Like I can't really tell y'all which way to go, cause I'm actually just running through this shit. So I really can't tell y'all which way to go, bro. Just if you had this part where just run through this fucking mage, like just hit every corner, and you eventually find your way to like where I'm at right now. It say uh, it's hard to blame you for leaving. All right, so yeah, hell yeah, I, I wouldn't blame nobody for leaving this shit. This shit that depressing. Uh, it say enough of your past life. Um, it's time to move on. All right, so but yeah, we're moving on to bigger and better things. Trying to get the hell up out of this maze. That's one of the things I'm trying to move on from. All right, so we actually found another, another one of those explosive thing. Like, bro, one thing. God damn, that shit was loud. But anyways, one thing about this maze, on um, what you want, you don't want to do, is like you don't want to try to like, like you you don't want to um, go back. Like, it, it's easy as hell to like get lost and go back inside this shit instead of going forward so like, if you're going forward i suggest like you look look at where you're going because you mess around and hit the wrong turn and go back and then you feel like damn i've been through this shit already like uh, then that's how you get lost like i'm pretty sure that's how you get lost in real mazes like you keep you, like going in circles and circles and circles and you feel like damn where the hell am i going so on um, did we open another exit let's see Okay, so we found another one of those. Um, I can't even, bro. If I wanted to tell you which way to go to find that, I couldn't even tell you which way to go because I'm actually just running through the maze and I actually just found that. So that's crazy as hell. All right, so that last one actually made a giant uh, entrance right here, bro. Like, I can't, I can't even tell y'all by detail on um, how to get to that that last one, cause you just gotta run through the maze, bro. You just gotta run through the fucking maze and find your way through it and find those little gas containers. But it say, um, you slowly wander into the center of the maze to claim your prize. Okay, so this better be a fucking PlayStation Five or some shit. All right, so what was my prize? Oh, it say the totem um vanishes. Now you just need to find a way out of here. All right, so um, the way to get out of here, bro, this shit get confusing as hell. So I'm gonna show y'all how to get out of here. You see this little, this little um exit right here. This little shit blew up. What you wanna do is you wanna go around. You wanna come out here. You wanna bust a left, bro. And you wanna see, you see this on um, this little entrance right here. You wanna go through this entrance, bro. It says bleak water. Um, uh, always been strange, but this is different. So what you wanna do? You wanna bust a right, okay? And then you bust another right. And then you bust a left, you keep going, keep going. It look like it's dead end, but it's not. Then you bust another left, bro. And then you keep going, then you see a message right here. It say, the empty town is, um, the empty town and strange totems are alarming. All right, so what you wanna do, you wanna see this message right here. It say, uh, somehow the disappearance are linked. Uh, you just have to find a way out. What you wanna do is you wanna go straight down. Pass, you gotta pass the sign. It say, somehow the disappearance sign. And then you wanna bust a right, right here. And then you want to bust another left, and then another left, and then another left, and then a right. And you keep going straight down past these two little um cross lights right here. And then you'll see the exit right here, bro. That shit was confusing. It's confusing as hell, but if you keep running through it, you'll eventually get it. It say leaving the, uh, leaving the maze at last. Another totem was found, but not resting now. There are too many questions on answer bro okay so we still got a lot of shit to do um uh, we got a checkpoint right here but thank god we actually got out of the maze bro that shit was hard as hell bro like what the fuck all right so let's go this way through the big ass rocks and the lights and the path so uncle bro we in the path right now so i'm guessing we're going the right way so i say oh the street you grew up on so many memories okay so it's an ice cream truck what the hell does shit say it got letters on it it say swkt like what the hell did that um, stands for but all these little houses and shit, let's check them. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we got a checkpoint. So that means we actually did have to check these houses. And these shits are spooky as hell, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, these houses are spooky as hell. Let's go up the stairs. Let's see, what, let's see what's upstairs. I just want to check the house, bro. I just want to see what's up inside this house. Because, like, you never know. It might be a little entrance or something inside the house. So, okay, so look. It's a message right here. It's a front of the window. You can see an unfamiliar symbol on the ground across the street. So what are they talking about? Unfamiliar somewhere on the ground across. Okay, so over there by the gate. So you know what? 
is by the ice cream truck. So let's go to that symbol. Let's see what happens. All right, so it say the symbol is over here across the street. Let's see what it is. It's actually an ice cream man symbol. Uh, it say a marking on the ground. Okay, so I'm guessing. Okay, so we got a checkpoint. So we is going the right way. So we're not just running around, but we actually going the right way. And the lighting in this room is fucking A1. This shit is crazy as hell. Um, all right, so I actually find out what you got to do. Um, you see this truck, this ice cream truck right here. Not the not the um the uh, house with the the um the little painting on the ground. You see, that's the house with the painting right here. It's the house, the opposite of the um the one with the painting on the ground. What you got to do is you got to go inside this house right here, and then you'll see like this little fire extinguisher right here. You can actually run inside of that shit. Like you got to duck down, and it's actually a snowman right here, bro. You pick it up. It said you cannot leave the um leave the house with this item. So you can't walk outside with this item. So what you got to do is you got to go upstairs. And actually, hold on, let's go upstairs first. Okay, so you gotta go upstairs and you gotta actually throw this item from right here. Oh shit, I'm about to use this shit. You gotta actually throw the item from right here on top of this little um ice cream man to get up there to the second floor in the house. So let's do that right now. Bro, that was like a little confusing as maze. Like, that's a bro, that was a confusing puzzle. Like, I don't know how the hell I managed to figure that shit out, but I don't know. We we finna get through it. Okay, so you throw the snowman, you throw the snowman on the um the little spot right here, and then you actually can jump up here. Hold up. Okay, so yeah, you actually can jump up here, open the door, and now you're at the second floor. So, uh, it say on um, the the answer is here. Just use your head. Don't leave without destroying the destroying the what. All right, so it, um, it say you can't leave without destroying the... So I went around hitting everything. Actually, you got to destroy this bed right here. Like, this is the only thing you can destroy inside the house. So, um, okay, so it said path... Damn, a loud-ass fucking explosion. Okay, so it say a path was open. So let's go inside the next house and let's see. I, I'm pretty sure that the path was inside the next house, bro. Let's see. All right, so I actually found a way, bro. So what you want to do is after you do all that, um, after you just do what you just did, you got to go to this house right here um, with this with truck in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the front. And you got to go through the door, and it's actually like a fucking, like some, um, like if you open the door, like right in the middle, it's actually some um, ice and a, uh, a speed boost right here. So you just run out of speed boost. If I can get up here, bro. And then you go to the stairs, and, you probably, you, and you'll see a sniper up here let's see okay so you run up the stairs you go you go down this little hole right here yeah you'll see a sniper right here you put a sniper oh bro it was bro it took me forever to figure out how to which way to go but i had to check every house um but it say um peering through the windows you hunt your target der burger so hmm that's our target so you know what i'm gonna stand right here to the x and let's look for Dirt Burger. Let's see who this nigga at. Okay, so he actually... Okay, so he wasn't that hard to find. And that was the house with the totem in it. So let's see. That part, I think that opens that opens like the door with the totem. Let's see. Alright, so yeah. I think that... Yeah, that did open the door with the totem. Here's the totem right here. Bro, that shit, bro, that's, that was a hard-ass stage, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. It's say one step closer, so... Okay, so now I think we can go to the other part right here. It say the heart of the town, still no sounds of any one tip. Do not move any item from this section to another um, another section. You will lose them. You will lose the item, and the map will be unplayable. So we cannot move no item from this part right here to another part, or the fucking map will be un play but so let's try not to do that let's try our best on um, to figure out what the hell to do in light and not take no item from this section to another section bro okay so it say you are starting to get um get sick of these bears see i'm i'm really am sick of these fucking bears right here what is that up here that's a llama you spot something interesting up there okay so we gotta try to find a way to get up here All right, so we actually made it to this other side, bro. That shit was tough as hell. What you got to do is you got to come around through here and then go through that little opening right there. Jump on the box. Then it's actually a little opening right here. You got to glitch through that shit. And then you run. 
and then you actually jump on top of this teddy bear right here you might get stuck and you just keep jumping to get up here or you might just make the jump the first try and then you go around here and then the llama is actually right here okay so let's see what's inside the llama bro like that shit was tough as hell so if you don't do it the way i showed you i don't know if you're gonna get past that shit but okay so it said you spot something interesting here what was inside it was actually um rockets inside so that means we finna get a rocket launcher i don't know when i don't know what we finna use it for but we actually finna get a rocket launcher it say oh try to get the police officers attention okay so what police officers bro the police is a fucking t no way the police is a fucking teddy bear bro let's see what happens if i hit him all right and then shit will happen okay so i was just about to leave it said did you forget something hell yeah i forgot something bro it's a llama over here somewhere like i can't find it. i can't find a way to get it oh my fucking bro i don't know how i, f I bro i literally don't know how the hell i found this shit but i actually found it so okay so you see a sign right here it say uh, did you forget something i just ran behind here and i looked and it's actually like a little a little thing you can break right here bro. like come on like that shit is so impossible to find and of course the llama is right here like oh my gosh bro let's see what's inside okay so more rockets so all right so i was running around find this other little house it got a message in here it say um maybe you forget something inside the kitchen so i hear like a little llama so i'm pretty sure that um yeah it's something inside the kitchen that we gotta explode once again so let me find this little thing okay so yeah it's right here on the wall of course bro like these little things is hard as hell to find but let's see is it a llama okay let me jump up here Bro, I just be, bro, literally how I found this place, I was just running around the whole entire map, going inside places I've never even been in, so that's how I found this place right here. Oh, it's right here? No way, that shit is actually inside the refrigerator, inside the kitchen. Like, I was looking through this whole shit, that's inside the refrigerator. Okay, more rockets. Okay, so always getting these rockets, like, how the fuck can I not leave a map, like, um, how the fuck can I not leave this shit without, um, without a couple of rockets? Like, that's crazy as hell. Like, only thing we find is rockets, bro. Maybe we forgot something in the kitchen. Okay, so I got that out of the kitchen. Um, let's go through. Let's find another place to go through. Let's go inside this building. It's like, this is like a, um, what is this? It's like a movie theater. Okay, so it's a, the cinema of the um, bleak water, just good enough to kill time, but not enough to play films from this century. Okay, so um, let's go through this door right here. Okay, so this is a movie theater. Bro, how the hell did somebody make this shit? And it's actually chairs right here, bro. This shit is cool as hell. Oh, my fucking God. Well, it's a message right here. Let's see what it says. Check the screen. Okay, so it say check the screen. So you know what I'm finna do? I'm finna just start hitting the screen, jumping into the screen, and let's see what happens. All right, so it is a little interest inside the screen, bro. Like, what the fuck? And I can't see nothing at all. Like, what the hell? This shit dark as hell. Okay, my mats is glowing, bro. Like, I can use mats. Okay, so my mats. Yeah. What the hell? Bro. How did I even think of this shit, bro? And there's a llama right here. Oh, my gosh, bro. Like, I don't know how I thought of this, bro. But my mats is actually like a nightlight. And it actually can let me, um... Let me see inside this movie theater, but we actually got the um the rockets or the llama that we were supposed to get. Now I gotta try to find a way to get the hell up out of here. Bro, that shit is bro, this shit is confusing as hell. Okay, so we just made it out of there, bro. I don't know how the hell I figured that shit out, but I actually figured it out that shit was hard as hell, bro. But you wanna go through the screen. Use your mats as a nightlight. It say, did you um, did you look everywhere? Yeah, I looked everywhere. I got the llama, so we should be good. So let's try to figure out what this hell this art in, this art um place was holding, bro. The way to, the way to figure this out is actually um, uh, invisible fucking wall right here, invisible light like, door right here. You just walk through. It's inside this blue painting, bro. Like I, bro, I would never figure that shit out if I was just like not leaning on all the walls trying to go inside. So, and it's actually a llama right here bro oh my fucking god like these shits are hard as hell to find bro okay so we got that llama you know what i hope that was our last one bro because that shit was hard as hell to find 
All right, so I ran around this whole map looking for everything to find. So I found everything. So after you find everything, bro, you went inside all these houses. You found the little clues. You did everything I just did. Uh, you got to come to this police car right here. And I was looking so hard. It's actually like a little button right here. You got to hit this shit. I didn't even hit it. When I know for a fact you got to hit it, bro, because I hit it once. So, okay, so, yeah, you hit it once. And then this shit is under here. So, okay, so I'm guessing... All right, so the pole is the only thing that's closer. So I'm guessing the pole is what we got to jump on. And then you go through here. Finally, bro. <laughs> exactly, bro. It says right here. Finally, a promising path, bro. Bro. Oh, my fucking God. That shit was that shit was so hard. Like, that's like the hardest thing I ever did. Like, finally, those puzzles. But anyway, let's see what happens over here. Oh, my God. The golden rocket launcher. All the rockets we found. We finally get the golden rocket launcher, bro. It say, do not miss okay so let's pick up this rocket launcher how many rockets i got i got five okay so it say um grabbing the rocket launcher you shoot your target but it, it only damages it slightly you realize you must search for more ammo to finish the job there are the exact number of rockets do not waste them or move to another area of the map okay so i don't know why this guy actually made this map like this but this shit it, it's kind of scary bro because if you fuck up you just fuck up so Let's hit it with all the rockets. Just say, do not miss. All right, so it's a objective has fallen to 50%. So we actually got to find more rockets to destroy this um this dirt burger right here, bro. Like this this map is scary as hell. Cause like if you move to a spot um with um rockets or if you move to a spot you're not supposed to go to um with the rockets you actually fuck up the whole entire map and you gotta restart so i don't know how this map was created like that but it's actually like that so uh, it's a uh, a sound from behind the dumpster catches your attention you move quickly to investigate so hell yeah i'm finna investigate and i look it's i bet it's more rockets than this shit of course it's one more rocket in here oh my god do not miss it has fallen to 25%. So we need uh, one more rocket. Like, literally, one more rocket. All right, so I was nervous as hell. I thought I actually messed up the whole map because I actually had one more shot to go, but I didn't have that shot. But I didn't even go to, like, this little place right here. It says, um... Um, maybe you um maybe you should get a haircut. And I didn't even know that you actually can jump through this right here. Hold up. Okay, so, like, it's a little door right here. You open it, you can jump through the, the fucking the mirror, bro. And then the llama would be right up here. Like, bro, I was nervous as hell, bro. I actually thought I fucked up the whole entire map. But this should be our last fucking shot inside the rocket launcher, bro. And I'm pretty sure we can blow up the, um, the, the dirt burger with this one. So let's get back to the dirt burger. The last rocket, bro. Let's see what happens. All right, so we finally opened that, bro. You know what I had to do? I had to literally restart the whole entire game because I was actually missing a fucking... Rocket, bro. That shit like crazy as hell. Like, I actually had to do the, the whole entire game, but. Alright, so it say the Bleak Water Cemetery, bro. It say all other um, areas must be completed to um proceed. Okay, so it's a whole new part right here. It say um, read for those um freshly laid to rest. Um, first let us scramble starts your quest. Okay, the um the path of the church is blocked. You must find a way to unclear it. Okay, so this is the path right here. So I'm guessing we gotta find a way to unclear the path and go through that little that little spot right there. Alright, so I actually found a little hole, bro. You just run around the fountain, like the fountain in the middle of the cemetery, and you just like you run around it and you actually fall the fuck through that shit. But it say fall through the fountain, you stumble into the catacombs. Okay, so this is the catacombs right here. Alright, so the way you do this, bro, it's like when you run it through the um the catacombs, bro, you go all the way to the end. It's actually some stairs over here. You run up those stairs, you, you see some little blue light up here, you turn around, and you actually you jump up here, bro. And you see a a, a mean ass tree right here. And it's a grenade right here. So let's get this grenade. It's a um the holy hand grenade. So what you gotta do, you gotta take this grenade all the way back down, bro, down to the fucking stairs. Alright, I'm gonna show you. You go down through the stairs. Okay, when you come down through the stairs, bro, like you look inside these catacombs, actually like some rocks right here. 
you can actually walk through one of these rocks. I forgot which one it is, but you can actually walk through it. Let's find it. Okay, so I think it's the second one. No, the third one. Yeah, these rocks right here. You can actually walk through these rocks, bro. Like, that shit was crazy as hell to find. And it say, um, toss the holy artifact to clear the path of the church. So you just toss that this man right here. You're going to die. Die, bro. The, the, the path of the church it should be clear, so we can go through it. Okay, so it say the path of the church is blocked. You okay? So this is the path, so it was clear. So we had to actually kill that man <laughs> to actually clear the path. So, uh, generations have come and gone, but the churches have raw and raws managed to hold on. Okay, so I, I kind of feel like it's him, bro. Low key, uh, it's a few people were allowed inside the church, was very protected by the ground of the grounds. Okay, so this shit was sacred as hell, bro. Um, you know that this path is blocked and you choose to go up the stairs. Okay, so that path is blocked, but I still got a grenade, bro. I don't even know I got a grenade for. Alright, so it say that path is blocked, so we gotta go this way. Uh, it say its teachings and members are largely unknown. So who the hell is fucking doing all this shit? Alright, so we going inside this creepy ass church, but I see this face, but this looks exactly like a face over here. It's like, it looks like a red, a red fucking face, like a guy inside of a black suit, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to, how to do this part right here. You gotta come up, and it's actually like a little fucking hole right here, bro. I didn't, bro. I just literally ran and fell through this shit. You just fall through, and then that shit happened. So, uh, it say, um, fall into the shrine. You realize that the church knew that, um, what was lurking in the, um, the caverns, the wall tells of a prophecy. The six sacred totems that we found of the fraud, removing them, will bring a certain doom. Okay, so, um, uh, the church has convinced the town that. Uh, to reopen the mind so that they could claim the totems for themselves to bring end of time. Okay, so those totems that we collected, those just was dangerous as hell, bro. We collected all them shit. With the last of the totems collected, you must now return to the temple. Pa the path is clear. Okay, so the, the um the temple path that we couldn't go through, that shit is actually clear now. So let's try to find our way down there and go through that shit. All right, so I kind of feel like it's the end. Like, this shit feel like, bro, this shit literally feel like the end. Okay, so you are surprised to be back to where um your journey started okay so yeah we did start over here it was a long ass fucking journey because this shit is long as hell like this is like the biggest map i ever played um okay so now what i'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do now all right so let's say you return to the mine shaft once more and prepare to descend okay so that shit must be open so we must we can go in all right so yeah that shit is open so we actually can go in all right, so we got a checkpoint, so we don't got to worry about going back, bro. We actually completed all that shit, so this is definitely the end, bro, bro. Fuck, this shit was long as hell. All right, so we going through this long mine shaft, bro. Got a couple jumps. All right, bro, this is, bro, we inching to the, bro. We literally inches to the end right now. I can, I can feel it right now. Okay, so I don't want to fall. Cause I don't want to die. All right. All right. So those jumps was easy as hell, bro. All right. It say, um, you notice a large gap in the um, in the trap and attempt to jump it. Okay. So I can't jump it, but I did notice something behind this rock. Okay. Yeah. It is a little interest behind this rock. Let's go behind this rock. Let's see what happens. It say there seems to be a small cavern below. You cannot help but fall through it. Okay, so I ain't. I got one, bro. I literally had one HP the whole entire game. I never bridge across the abyss. Like, look at this shit. This shit is crazy as hell. How the hell do you put something like this together? Like, this shit is crazy as fuck. Okay, so. Oh my fucking god, it's a lot of reading. Your people have defied, defied the temple by stealing my sacred. Um, my sacred totems for they have paid for their misguided actions, but you have avoided the same fate by returning them to me. Okay, so I get I'm guessing everybody that when I went on the camp, the reason everybody died because they took the totem, so everybody got fucked up by this guy right here. It say for for your efforts, you will be rewarded handsomely. Jump down so we may finally meet face to face. Okay, so this is my doom right here. Everybody else died. I returned all the totems, so you know what? Let's just go ahead first. Okay, so say so it was all your work. A fucking llama? No way. No way a llama can do all this shit, bro. Let's see what's inside this llama, bro. 
bro fucking shapeshifter things bro prop no way <laughs> bro i'm actually worse right now oh my fucking god i can't believe a llama actually did all that shit bro all right so there you have it bro the mystery of bleak water bro that shit was long as fuck and that shit was hard as hell like that shit said it was supposed to be medium that shit wasn't medium at all that shit was actually expert like those puzzles was fucking hard as hell like i suggest like <laughs> bro i don't know that shit was crazy as hell but you know it was, it was actually a fucking llama behind all that shit like how the hell a llama could be sitting behind all that shit and be doing all that shit but you know if you do like the video just give it a like subscribe you know i'm coming to you with mo fucking content bro i'll see you in the next video